Good morning, home cooks. It's time to have a pampered chef morning. Happy Taco Tuesday. My name is Annette Daly, also known as the Hot Pepper Queen, and I am a trainer and mentor for the best kitchen tool company in the world. <laughs> I'm so excited to be with you this morning. I am on this breakfast taco uh, kick, trying to uh, lose some weight, and sometimes my evening recipes are not all that great. Hey, honey, so glad you're here. This is exciting to have you, your awesome lady. Food and social change. That's my honey, and I love her. Love her, love her. Brand new friend. Okay, here we are. So this morning I'm going to be sharing with you um, some quick and easy way to get some breakfast tacos in you and be able to get out the door. Now I'm going to be explaining a few of the tools as I'm going through the process, but um, you know, you're not going to do this when you're doing it in the morning. Hey Cindy, good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> so glad that you're here my wonderful friend, host. <clears throat> so, this morning, we, hey, Sherry, so good to see ya, good to see ya. Happy Taco Tuesday, Sherry. <laughs> Glad you're here, babe. Okay, so I'm making a very, very um, uh, simple recipe this morning using our egg cooker stone. Now, if you're not familiar with this, it is the bomb. It is it's kind of heavy. You can use it in the microwave. Hey, Julie, I know. Hi, Bobby, I know. I'm doing, I, I'm, I've lost 14 pounds, and so I want to stick to some lower calorie recipes for um, <laughs> doing my Taco Tuesdays. I got to lose just a few more. So here we go. Breakfast tacos, I love them because, um, I was going to put some chili on mine <laughs> when I changed my mind. I'm keeping it sweet, sweet and sweet. All right. All right, Sherry. See you, babe. Have a great day at work. Thanks, honey. You are too. So, I love, love, love this egg stone. And one of my favorite breakfasts, which is not <laughs> low calorie, um, is um, Eggs Benedict. <laughs> I, I love the hollandaise sauce. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Um, so, in this little booger, it's like, I don't know, I think it's like $19 for this. Made in the USA, all of our stones. Hey, Tiffany, all of our stones are made in the USA. So, this, I um, love making um, poached eggs for... Um, I'm like Eggs Benedict, and all you do, I mean, y'all are going to be shocked, shocked. You put um, like a tablespoon of water, a little bit more, maybe a couple tablespoons of water, a couple tablespoons of water, you crack the egg, you crack the egg, you wrap a paper towel around it, put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes, perfectly poached eggs. In minutes, it's none of that, you know, boiling water and it has the vinegar in it. And you're hoping that it's done fall apart in the boiling water. You don't have to deal with that with this amazing stone, this amazing stone. So, love it, love it, love it. Um, uh, you can also, if you want to fry, hey, Michelle, if you want to fry um, eggs in it, all you do, you can put um, a pat of butter, a pat of butter, <laughs> crack your egg, crack your egg, wrap it up in some paper towels, put it in the microwave for a minute or two, and again, amazing eggs ready to go. Thanks for the love. <laughs> Appreciate the hearts. I see there's a glare here. Let me see. That's why I pulled out this bag to see if I could block some of that glare. There. Oh, jeez Louise. Ah. Now this way, this way. Okay. 
There we go. There we go. That's better. <laughs> so, hey, Brandy. Good to see you this morning. Happy Taco Tuesday. We're having breakfast tacos. Simple breakfast tacos in the egg stem. Um, I also love this. You can make... Um, I haven't made them because I try to stay awake away from the cakes most of the time, but you can also make um, uh, not mud pies, mud pies, uh, no, what are they called, the little pies, not mud pies, that's made with dirt, <laughs> and we only eat dirt when we're kids, right, not as adults, <laughs> I also love this little booger because I have made individual servings of macaroni and cheese. I mean, really, this thing is the bomb. With the macaroni and cheese, you just put molding cakes. Okay, moon, 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 Michelle, you're right. That's what it is. That's what I was looking for. Moon, moon, moon. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> um... Uh, who has one of these? Cindy, do you have one of these? Michelle? So if you're going to make individual macaroni and cheese portions, which I uh, go absolutely nuts, like literally nuts, trying to not eat a whole uh, dish of macaroni and cheese. So with this, you just get a couple of, hey, Ruthie, hey, Mark, you get a couple of um, macaroni and cheese portions. You put your, a little bit of water, a little bit of water, your noodles, your noodles. Um, let's see. Then you microwave it for a couple of minutes so that it um, cooks your noodles. Hey, Joanne. So glad to see you. Um, then you drain off the water. You put your milk and your cheese. Put it in the microwave, and you have delicious uh, a macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Okay. But this morning, we're just going to um, make some scrambled eggs um, with the egg stone. And I'm going to add some extra little, you have the plastic one. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, the plastic one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Um, we got a new egg cooker coming out, too. I'm going to show you in just a minute. Tomorrow is March 1st, and we have brand new awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. New merchandise coming out. And I can't wait to share it with you. <laughs> so exciting. It's good to be a pampered chef. It's great to be a pampered chef. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, as you know, I've lost 14 pounds. I've got two more to go. Maybe more like four because I'm in midweek. <laughs> but that's okay. So I'm going healthy this morning. Going healthy this morning. So here we go. Got the little egg stone right here. All right, all right. Now, got me some eggs. Have y'all heard me talk about this last week? Um, I like... Um, Animals, if I'm going to eat animals and animal byproducts, I want to thank them for their sacrifice. And I also want them to be treated as humanely as possible um, when doing so. Hey, Michelle, good to see you. So I know I did, I paid $7, $7 for these eggs. That's just crazy, isn't it? But... Um, the difference is, I know organic, you're going to pay more for organic, um, certified, humane, raised, and handled. That's, that's why they're pasture raised. That means they get to run around and outside and click and cluck and have a, a wonderful time eating bugs and, and whatever else they eat off, off the ground. And that way, um, at least they get to see the line of day, and you know, I like that. I like that. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna crack a couple of eggs. Actually, doing this, I haven't always done this, so I was rereading the directions this morning to make sure that I was gonna do it right. 
going to do it like you're supposed to make sure I typically would just put the egg right in there d -d 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 -d. Um, but I went in the follow instructions hey Peggy good morning good morning good morning good to see you honey we're making some scrambled egg breakfast tacos in the egg stone this morning and it's good so you need a little bit of liquid okay and a little bit of liquid so i'm just gonna i've got a little bit of milk don't you love this little teeny tiny little pamper <laughs> a little measuring cup i also like this thing oh it looks big like that it's really teeny um i use this to measure how much water to um, pour into my orchid because if you over water your orchid it croaks and it's doing really good okay there is there's there on the eggs and let's see should i put the eggs in there already we got this i love our um, glass uh prep bowls they come in one cup two cup and three cup um and i think this is um the two cup goes up to two and a half cups okay yay 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 And you're not supposed to crack your eggs on the side of a bowl because you're more than likely to get egg shards in with your breakfast. Ah, I hope I don't do it. <laughs> Ooh, ah, I don't like that part. Ooey gooey, ooey gooey. <laughs> yeah, the prep bowls are awesome, aren't they, Cindy? Yeah, I dig them. They come with a lid, too, so if you make something and you just want to store it right in there, you can. Love the whisk. There's no pampered chef without a whisk. I love how it feels. It's got that good, good weight to it. And you just can tell the quality. You know, you can tell when you pick up something and it's a piece of crap <laughs> or really, really nice quality. So I'm just going to... I feel like a chef. I feel like a chef. Good morning. I feel like a chef. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's stick this over to the side. Because, oh, I'm sure I can put that right in. I can put that right in. Pour it here. Move it here. Can you see? Move it here. Uh, it never fails. I always get more in the first well than in the second well. It's okay. Remember the slogan. You don't have to be a perfect chef. What do you have to be? Do you know? Do you know the answer? You don't have to be a perfect chef. You just have to be a pampered chef, a pampered chef. Okay, good. We're moving on. Got the eggs. I want to, um, I'm going to put a little uh, red uh, bell pepper in mine. It's got a really good, sweet, wonderful flavor. And um, so I'll show you this here. I don't know if you, these colanders are awesome. They come. Hey, Candy, I haven't seen you in a while. Good morning, honey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We have these steel mesh colanders that come in all three uh, in three sizes. This is the small one. I love these things there. Again, you can really feel the quality and the sturdiness of them. This is a good size for like your one thing, and then there's this size, and then if you got a big bowl of stuff. <laughs> oh, have a wonderful day at work, Candy. Blessing people with your nursing skills. We appreciate people who work on holidays and nights and weekends and through the night to take care of our sick butts. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to show you a couple of tools, a couple of tools, a couple of new things coming out. And, oh, my God, these mats are so awesome. They stick. So, are you guys familiar with our um, flexible cutting mats? 
We have new ones coming out tomorrow, and these are the new ones. I love them. They're big and bright and pretty. I love, love, love them. And I love that they um, have more instructions on them this time. Here's um, some more, um, one for some tips on portion size. You got one teaspoon is right here. Just the very, this is one little teaspoon. And then one to two tablespoons, that's your whole palm. And then, of course, uh, three ounces is your palm. Your fist is one cup, a handful is one and a half ounces, and two handfuls is one ounce. Love that, right? Aren't these pretty, pretty, pretty? I love them. And then, I've got some water on here. Look at this. This is really great for teaching our kids uh, portion sizes. Up here at the top, this is, um, oh, I love this. I love this. Um, this is Julianne size, Julianne, Julianne, yeah, and then fine Julianne. Look at this. This is so informative. This is what we call a large dice, and then here's a medium dice and a small dice, and of course, then we have the ruler down here, and then <laughs> I earned, oh my God, I'm so excited. I earned $500 in free Pampered Chef based on my sales results from um, December and January. And so I got these for free and I got a bunch of these knives for free. And I love how it um, helps this new cook figure out what knives to use for what purpose. <laughs> I usually go to the same go-to knife most of the time. I don't know about you guys, but I... I typically do. So we have these new um, coated knives and they match so pretty with this. Oh, I do want to show you, these mats do come in a smaller size. If So if you are a camper woman like me that loves going camping, and, and really what I should say is glamping, glamping. Hey, Dustin French, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Taco Tuesday Breakfast Tacos. So these smaller ones are great for us people who like to go glamping. Okay, let me show you these really cool um, coated knives. So this is the um, Sotoku. Yes, this one is the Sotoku knife. Look at this one. I love that it comes with the covers too, so you, um, they're safer. So if you can't um, go our highest end with our highest quality knives, Ruth, love you, baby. Have a great day. Um, these are our next best uh, in quality, and these are more affordable. So this is good for dicing and slicing and mincing. Francis Branch, hello. Hello, Francis. And then, oh, you've got to have the tomato knife. Ah, this, is so, this is so great. See it, the serrated edges. That helps cut through your tomatoes uh, without squishing them and getting them all ick up and juicy. Oh, did y'all see I made dill artisan bread in the deep covered baker? Lord, that did not help my Weight Watchers diet one bit. It was so good. I was so proud of myself. And we got a bread knife for that. Can you see? Cuts right down through that bread without mashing it. You got to do a little saw action there. And I put that on right now. All right, I'll put that on later. And then we have the utility knife. Now, this utility knife is an all purpose knife uh, slicing fruits and vegetables, trimming meat and poultry. Love it. Aren't these colors fun? I love them, I love them, I love them. All right, and then we got the chef knife. And the chef knife, it's for big prep tasks, like chopping and slicing and dicing. Look at this. Doesn't this make you feel like a chef? Or, well, I won't go there. <laughs> and then we have our paring knife, which is good for um, smaller cutting tasks, like delicate and detailed work, peeling fruit, removing vegetable skins. 
super duper awesome, isn't it, Cindy? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, <laughs> which one should I use? I think I use this one, because it's bright and cheery, like the sun, for breakfast. Okay, let me get you in here, can I get you in here a little closer? I want to show you this other cool tool I have. <laughs> oh, yeah, bear with me. I want you to see this cool tool. There we go. Oh, the light's even better here. Good. Okay, good. I want to show you this $5 tool. So awesome. It is called our um, Scoop Loop, and it works really well with the bell peppers, which I'm going to show you. And um, also works good for cantaloupe. Getting out the ooey gooey in the cantaloupe. Also for, um, you know, our squashes and stuff that you need to get the seeds out of. Um, if you want a cucumber and you want to get the seeds out of them, you just squash it. This, this thing really works good. Let's see, do I have the right edge? Go like this. You just twist it around. Look at this. Okay, now if you can see, it looks like there's a bunch of seeds. Can you see a bunch of seeds in there? But really, it's not that many seeds because you know why? It's a boy pepper. A boy pepper. Do you know the difference? <laughs> Do you know the difference between a boy pepper and a girl pepper? Does anybody know? Um, so obviously, a girl pepper is going to have... Is it obvious? <laughs> Girls, the girl, the female pepper has more seeds than the male. So if you don't want that as many seeds when you're trying to cook with them, right? And so the way to tell, it's on the bottom. This has three little nodules. And the, um, the female, that's right, Cindy, has four. You're right on, Cindy. Right on, right on, right on. Cindy knows. Cindy needs to be a pampered chef official. <laughs> you mean officially, officially. Okay, let's do this. I want to put some chopped, um, I want some chopped pepper in with my breakfast taco. I was going to put some meats in it this morning, but you know, I don't, I'm on a mission from God. I gotta lose a few more pounds. And so I've had, was doing so good, doing so good. You know how self discipline goes, it's a practice. And uh, this past week kind of slipped up on the self discipline. <coughs> so I'm back on it. Went and downloaded Brian Tracy's Audible book. Hey, Becky, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, his audible book, no excuses. No excuses. There's no try. There's either you do it or you don't, right? <laughs> okay, here's a tool that's going to save you a ton of time in the kitchen. It's called our quick slice, and I love this thing. Uh, you, if you want to make, I mean, this is really, 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 really cool. Um, the um, tomato and mozzarella salad with some uh, balsamic vinaigrette and a little few slivers of basil. Boom, 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 boom. Put it on the plate, a little vinegar, blah, 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 blah. And man, you have an awesome salad in no time at all. So, here we go. This is called our quick slice. Let me put these right here. I think you can see it. Yep. Let's see, do I want it this way? Yeah, this way. Okay. There we go. <coughs> this is so cool. Check it out. See how fast that was? Now I'm just going to do it this way because I want them diced. All right. I'm <laughs> going on the sides. <laughs> All right, good. 
I'm making a mess. <laughs> I'm making a mess. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little red pepper in my eggs. And I also, I love red onion. I love any onion, really. And you can obviously caramelize these to make them a little sweeter if you want to. I, I, I'm just, I like, um, I like crunch. I crave crunchiness when I'm eating food. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this onion. And I'm not going to cut as much since I didn't need as much as I did on that red pepper. I'll just snack on those later today. Put that in here like this. There we go. Put it back here again. Isn't this awesome? You see how quick that works? And then um, some people like this um, a little, uh, one of the reasons that they like it is some folks have arthritis in their hands. And we do have the chopper, love the chopper, um, but the impact from hitting it uh, hurts some people's wrists. So this is an easy um, solution for that and also our um, 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 manual food processor. Yeah, the manual food processor is good for that too. Okay. All right, all right. Looky, looky. <laughs> I got my eggs ready to go in the microwave. If you were to do fried eggs, you will want to puncture the egg yolk so that uh, it doesn't explode. I have done it. It doesn't explode and make a mess in your microwave. <laughs> right? Okay. So you just take it like this and wrap it around just like that. And then I'm going to put it in the microwave. We got a new egg cooker coming out tomorrow, manana. <laughs> this thing is the bomb too. So if you are on um, a mission, you got to get out the door, but you, yeah, you got to get something in your belly before you go. Here is our new ceramic egg cooker. And again, you can make the oatmeal and you can make mug cakes. But this thing, this is great because you can take it with you on the go. And all you do, here you go, is um, you do want to spray it with some olive oil or whatever you, Pam, whatever you use, spray it in there, okay? Put your egg in there. Put your little do jobs that you want to put in there like this. There's a, a, a steam hole. So you just go like this. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes and... Go out the door and you're like, don't eat and drive. <laughs> but when you get to work, it's still, it's, mine stays warm. It's ceramic, so it stays warm. Or you can heat it up a few seconds when you get to work. And this um, a little padding right here helps to keep your um, hands from burning. So you like it? Thanks, Cindy. I love it too. I love it too, Cindy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So my little, uh, I'm going to have some fresh pineapple. Oh, my God. I love this. I'm going to drink the juice. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, I don't buy. Hey, Denise. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I do not buy canned pineapple anymore. There's no reason we have the perfect, perfect tool and fresh pineapple is like you're on island time. <laughs> it's that good, it's that good. And 
All you need is this tool right here. This tool is amazing. You cut off the top and you just wiggle it. And then you have delicious pineapple fresh. And it's so sweet. So that's going to be my palette cleanser. I, um, I am going for the boats again this morning. The, um, the taco shell boats. And these are good if you're going to be in a hurry. And you're, you know, you want to get out the door and you don't want the whole messy mess mess. There you go, the eggs get right in there. Okay, I hear, I hear the microwave. I hear it, I hear it. Let me see if it's ready. Let me see, let me see. It's Taco Tuesday. And we're having breakfast tacos. Breakfast tacos. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? I forgot to spray. You should spray. You should spray. But um, I might be okay. So look, guys. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Three minutes in the microwave and um, two eggs that's uh, only four point breakfast for Weight Watchers a four point breakfast okay let me get my little spatula here get my egg out You need a little salsa. Forgot to pull my salsa out. Maybe I will put a little of that chili on here. Seen this so far? Right, right, right. Now, I am. I did heat it up. I did. Johnny Angel was in a chili cook off this weekend. I heated this up. I'm going to put a little chili on mine. Just a little bit for color. A little flavor flame. Right? Because. Chili is not exactly low fat either, especially competition chili. Okay, typically, typically, guys, I use um, 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 cheddar cheese and the other grater, but I would Parmesan cheese. I love salty flavors, and Parmesan is a saltier flavor, which means you need less cheese <laughs> to have the same great flavor. This is our zester, which works really good for hard cheeses. Um, but, oh my God, I love this thing. Another high quality tool, it feels like when it's in your hand. It's really great for zesting um, your lemons, your limes, your oranges. The bomb. And let me show you how good it works. and let the dog out. All right, so there's one final step. One, yeah, hey, Boomer, that's what they're saying. Thanks, Cindy. <laughs> okay. Here's the newest tool in our bag, one of our new tools in our bag. It's called our herb... Herb salt, salt. <laughs> and I love this thing. Check it out, guys. Um, so you can take this off, and here's the bottom so you can save your herbs. But look, I used it last night. Look at this, guys. I hope you can see it because I am in love with it. I'm in love with it. Can you see? Oh, my God. <laughs> can you imagine if you're having some pasta and some spaghetti and you know it's basil and you want to look isn't that cool beans <laughs> i love it i love it i love it okay yeah so then you just take this lid off if you want to store it put this underneath and you got it you just need to make sure that your herbs are dry when you use it or it won't work as well okay all right it's time for me to Take a big old bite and have some delicious 
back to Star Cutters. Man, the allergies. I hear other people having allergy issues. Okay, here we go. Oh. Mm -mm. I'm glad I put the chili on it. <laughs> you know, chili and eggs do go together. I can't think of anything really that chili doesn't go with, but... <laughs> okay. Out of all the cool tools I showed you this morning, what do you like the best? What, um, and I had some old tools in there, so I'm so curious. For, and do you like the breakfast taco shows as much as you like the evening taco shows? I need feedback from my friends. Fun times, you guys. Fun times. Okay. <clears throat> I know some of you got to get to work and face the day. Life is good. Take advantage of every single day. I hope that you have a super lovely, spicy day. And, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yay, yay. Thanks, Cindy. Love you, girl. Love you, girl. All right. I think that's it. Peace, love, and hot stuff, baby. I hope that you will join me on the... Taco Trail ahead, and if um, you need any information about Pampered Chef, please let me know. Always happy for your referrals, and I'm particularly looking for those who are getting married and uh, would like to stock their kitchen with free quality and discounted kitchen products. Mwah. Looking for those. Thank you, Princess. Looking for um, those brides. So. Clue me in and refer me, please. All right. Love you. Love you, guys. Love you, love you, love you. Love you, love you. See you next time.